So let's get this started. Um, we already kind of built like a nine star wall deck to kind of synergize with our bleed. Technically, I was going to regress more of these scaries, but my problem here is soul symbols. But now we have a lot of them. We'll regress them shortly. What we're going to do first is we are going to build our hero. We got a ton of copies, which means we have extras, which is pretty good. Uh, I need to make one of you make sure it's not using anything important. No, it's not. And then... Wait, what? Why won't it make me let me make a 10 star? What? That's weird. I got everything I need. Huh? Maybe I don't have no. Why did it not let me do that? Oh, because my nine stars are elite. Gotcha. That makes sense. That makes sense. Totally makes sense. Um, I do want to lock you down just to make sure I don't feed you off because that would really, really suck. Okay, so let's go. We got everything else we need. The Marax is fine. We don't care about that. Let's go with the next one here. The Margaret builds you up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think, yeah, I think we, I think we have some 10 stars, guys, on this account. We have a few. May or may not be too regressing like Flora's, Oberon's, and Scary's over the course of a couple Fireball Fridays. Some bad decisions were made there. Okay, all right. So we'll just get him with the normal setup here. Get him leveled up. We got plenty of resources. That's not a problem. Uh, and then let's just straight up upgrade this quick upgrade to max. Honestly, I think I want like a block attack stone. What do you guys think? Because we don't have, we don't have an A and B on this account. We have a crown though. So I'm thinking we convert for like some sort of block attack or block HP. That way we're over 100% block chance. I think block attack is the better pick though. <laughs> I'd say we have plenty of resources to get the stone we want, but you guys know my luck here. There we go, perfect. Block attack. Um, let's come over to here. Gray Dwarf, yeah, Gray Dwarf. Let's do conversion, uh, resonant suit. Sure, whatever, whatever, whatever. We're gonna convert it. And we're going to go to a warrior set. GG. And then what we're going to do is upgrade this and not waste any time on this account. We are not re-rolling infinitely. I'm telling you that right now. Don't need that for 100% block. I mean, he gets what? He has 40% by default. He gets 50% from his basic, but that's not going to be on every target. I like the block. I, I think that'll be good. We'll see, though. We'll see. You don't need the block stone? What, what am I missing? I mean, but we also have to worry about precision, don't we? I guess maybe in some game modes, we're not going to have precision to deal with. Just certain enemies. There's so many whales on iOS. Yeah, <laughs> there's more I whales on iOS for sure. Guild tech gives block. Um, let's see how much. But th th the thing is, like, he's not going to be able to do a basic attack on everybody, though. Let me check my warrior guild tech while I'm at it because I might not have any. No. Okay. So, um, mage, regress that warrior. Let's see what we get. Block is. 15%, so it's not a ton. Fifteen percent from guild tech. So he's at seventy-eight percent with the block attack. And then he gets a little bit more, so he's at eighty-eight percent. No, I no, I definitely I definitely think the stone's needed. Because again, you have to remember his his attack, I mean, we're going to get a little bit more, right? We get like 10% uh, more. So we're close to 100. 
I think block attack is good. A um, couple other things we need to do. Uh, let me look up. So if we are going to be doing sea land here at some point today, we have... I need to find the fortress sea land enemies, which are what? Forest heroes? No. That's shadow. Um, they're... Wait, what are the what is Fortress fight? I'm gonna awaken him too. Don't worry, we're gonna do a lot, but I want to play in the guild tech first. Shoot, why don't why am I not looking? Do I waste an attack just to see what they are? Oh my god, I can't even think what they are. Um, wait, no, no, I can tell, I can tell. Um, you just go to this, and the background is going. Yeah, okay, you do fight Shadow. You fight the Shadow, and Shadows are. Let me look at my handy dandy. Shadows are warriors and mages. So the only anti-guild tech that we can do that is going to be useful here is going to be mages. We want anti-mage tech because, of course, you can't get anti-warrior for a warrior. Um, undead, what do they do? Do they twine or anything? Can't remember. We're just going to do a couple of these just to be on the safe side. So we have some immunities. I don't think they do either of those. Um, petrify, maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll do those, and that should be fine. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to come in here and see if we can just super-duper high roll the first ever SSS copy of this hero. Of course, it's like the most garbage tier it could possibly be. Of course. Of course. We can't even regret. I want one more. I want another Awakening. Hold on. Wait a minute. I could swap the copy in. Is this big brain plays right here, guys? Let's make sure we don't have any achievements or stuff like that, though. Oh, cool, we got food. Um, um, I don't, I don't see anything. Uh, achievements? No, we we already claimed all those. Uh, okay. Here's what we're gonna do, because <laughs> I want one more. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap the hero copy in the bag. <laughs> Because it's like a solid E. Like, we can't get worse than that, right? <laughs> All right, now we can do one more awakening on him. Come on, you know what? Oh, I can't do the bottom copy. That sucks. Watch it turn into an E minus. You know it's going to. Oh my god. Oh no. no. Oh, wait, there's a yellow. It's E plus. It's health, but whatever. I don't know what the attack was previously. I'm not even going to worry about it. That was risky. It almost became worse. Okay, so we have his gear set up. We have his stone. We have that. We have his enables. Uh, V4. Should we try him first with no void imprinting? I think that might be what we do. So let's go through the steps. Let's take him from like E0 and bring him up through the, the sea land, I think. So it's been requested. We're going to go 1v1. They're both pretty much the same power level too. The big slug out match, Eloise versus Isla Mock. Now, Isla Mock, of course, has an advantage here because he can lower the chance that she can block, which means in practice, she should not be able to block many. Granted, the way we have our Eloise built is very, very high block chance with an A and B. But he can stun her. He can bleed her. Silox bot, thank you so much for that prime, man. Um, these are equal powers. However, the Eloise has much, much, much stronger star spawn on that account. It is down to the wire. The bleeds, though, are going to kill her end of round. <laughs> well, I'd say that's fitting. He can't even beat the hero straight up that uh, he's kind of made the beat.